Brush service tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Fresh Service. Now, what exactly is Fresh Service? Well, Fresh Service is a tool created by Freshworks. It gives you the best expertise and it is able to transform your business. You can transform IT from cost center to value creator with a powerful platform like Fresh Service. Now, when it comes to its capabilities, you can unify IT, power, business performance. You are able to use AI with the help of Freddy AI as well, which allows you to have boosted efficiency and better experiences. You have more power to be productive with workflows and automations, and you have features such as omni channel, IT management, IT modernization, and more. Now, you also have several different integrations available, such as Teams, Slack, Device 42, Zoom, AWS, and Google Workspace. And you can use any one of these to have a better and easier navigation of your service. So let's get started for free. To get started, click on try it for free. And once you do, you can proceed with signing up for fresh service. Starting off with your first name, last name, work email, the mitchmazel at gmail.com, our company email, company name, and you will need to use a professional business email. So I'm going to change to Sarah Lily Davis dot site. We're just going to reconfirm our mailbox. So Lily Davis, we're going to go Sarah at Lily Davis dot site. And then we're going to add our business name. And then we're going to click on try it for free. Now, once I click on try it for free, I can proceed. So first off, we're going to add our primary focus for fresh service. This is going to be IT service management, one to 50, and which industry do we belong to and what best describes our role. And then we're just going to click on start setup. Once we click on start setup, we are going to proceed with our onboarding. Now you get a 14 day free trial and you can even schedule a demo as well. Now, make sure to go into your mailbox and confirm your account activation. So I'm going to click on activate account under my mailbox. And when I click on activate account, this just makes it really easy for us to use all of the full features of Freshworks. So I have activated uh, my account. Now, from here, we're going to proceed. Now, on the left of our Fresh Service account, we can see our dashboard, which provides us with some summary data. Then we have tickets, including lists and board views. So we can view tickets based upon whether they're open, pending, resolved, or closed. And then in a list view, it will just see our tickets like so. Below that, we have any problems, then changes, releases, tasks, IT operations, including services, and then your assets. Assets include inventory, cloud, software, and then below that, you will see project workloads, solutions, reporting, and more. So to get started, the first step is going to be to connect your support email. If you have an, any other ticketing system where you are providing customer support from, you can connect to your self-service portal and retrieve requests for help from your self-service portal as well. I'm going to be connecting our support email like so. so we're just going to be connecting this over here. And once we have connected this, we can move on. So this will be the name of the email that is used. This is going to be our help one and our service desk email is going to be this email address. Okay, I will actually use my own dot site and then I can assign this to a group. Now you can customize this as well, but this is where you are able to auto assign tickets to a group. If you have different email addresses for different parts of your business, let's say you have a separate email for the billing section of your business. If customers have queries related to product or delivery, then they might have a separate email that they might be contacting you on. So if you want, you can customize all of that as well, uh, simply by adding a default email for a default group. If you do not have segregated emails for help contacts, 
then you're just going to proceed with adding the one email and leaving this at dot 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 so it can be auto assigned to whatever group that is available or whatever attendee that is available now moving forward we can see our mail server is default and you can use your own mail server if you want now below that you have your email system where you have incoming and outgoing and delete emails off from server after fetching i'm not going to do that i'm just going to proceed like so and after that we're just going to activate our account and again i'm just going to have to reactivate my account from here so that we can actually save our new changes now we're going to be creating a password like so and we do have to make sure our passwords match which i do hope they are matching but once this has been completed then we would be able to move forward yeah so just like so this has been activated now we can enter and save the details for our help address now on the top right you even have a quick setup where you can set up your ticketing first off you can click on create a ticket and then you can click on create tickets manually this is from where your customer support agents can create tickets manually you can create a template for a ticket or you can directly input information direct input can be very time consuming for fast base you know uh, for quick service so it is easier often to just have a pre-built template of all of the standard queries that you know you will be receiving. So if you are in that particular situation, then I would recommend building multiple templates. Now you can add the requester, source, status, impact, priority, group, agent, department, and then the description as well as the start date and end date. This ensures that all tickets can be handled really efficiently. Now, below that, you, you will even have employee journeys where you can onboard employees and offboard employees as well. And below that, you will have problems. You can identify your service interruptions, manage root causes, and prevent future incidents for enhanced service quality. Click on report a problem over here, and once you do, you can add the requester, subject, description, and more. This ensures that any lapses can be resolved instantly. Then below that you have changes where you can automate change approvals, set up change advisory board meetings, and track change lifecycle. You have releases for more seamless and secure deployments. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video i would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and i will try to answer as soon as possible so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video